Hey guys, it's Zerx. Uh, this is a TDM on WMD. Uh, I go 33 and 2 using the end field with reflex and suppressor, scavenger, all that. I mean, you probably saw that. Using this kind of weird reticle, got a little violet box. I don't know, I'm just trying out different reticles for you guys. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to wrap up the second part of my dual commentary thing. Well, not really. A two-part commentary, I should say. And so last time it was about uh, illegal immigration because I was reading this article and they were talking about the use of uh, the word undocumented immigrants. And so I was thinking like, okay, I can talk about illegal immigration or I can talk about political correctness type terms, politically correct terms. And so today I'm going to talk about political correctness. So uh, I'm sure uh, many of you are really familiar with the idea, but just to lay some foreground, you know, uh, political correctness refers to the use of words that avoid uh, offending certain kinds or groups of people. So let's just jump right in. Uh, there are some very good reasons for why political correctness exists, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't exist. <laughs> uh, most obviously, uh, certain labels are offensive. There's a reason why we don't throw around the N-bomb all the time, except on YouTube, maybe. Uh, so over time, certain words pick up connotations, and those can be good, or bad, or neutral. Naturally, some words pick up a lot of bad connotations, and those are the words we should avoid using. So maybe, for example, you shouldn't call Southerners hicks, because that's, you know, a really offensive word. <laughs> um, and you shouldn't just go around saying, oh, well, all Southerners are hicks. On that same level, we shouldn't use words that prop certain kinds of groups or people um, uh, kinds or groups of people on the pedestals, right? So you shouldn't call all police officers policemen, or even if they're women, because then it's like saying, oh, well, you know, they're all men, and it's just like a man's world and all that. So uh, that's why we try to find and use the most neutral terms possible. On top of diffusing any potentially offensive connotations, Politically correct terms also try to get rid of any subconscious prejudices that might come up because of certain wordings. So, for example, I remember reading about some case in psychology in high school in which the use of fireman or something like fireman, I, I don't really remember, um, actually affected uh, how we thought about that position in terms of gender. So even though it was just how you normally described a person who did that job, it made you think of the position as a masculine position, for example, because it's firemen. Um, so that's a subconscious prejudice that I was talking about. Uh, I guess that's not really a prejudice. It, just a way you think about it um, beyond what you're uh, consciously thinking about. Um, so that's why we have terms like firefighter instead of fireman or firewoman. And like I said earlier, police officer instead of maybe policeman or police woman. So building on that last point, if you know that the words you use can affect how you think about someone, then you can account for that. Uh, like, say you're a manager and you know that if you keep calling this guy black, you're going to look down on him. Well, then you can say, okay, well, just using this word is making me think of him as a lesser person or something like that. So I'm going to account for that and I'm going to try to treat him more equally. So these are some pretty good reasons in favor of political correctness, and in theory it should work really well, right? Yeah. But there, well, there's one thing, I, I had two things, but uh, in this video I think I'm only going to get to one. So there's one very specific thing that I'm going to take issue with when it comes to political correctness. And so it's the term African Americans. And so I'm so sure that you guys have at least, <laughs> I mean, heard of this term before, um, but it's pretty prevalent now. I'd be really surprised to hear that none of you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, specifically, we're going to take black and African American and we're going to compare them. So, usually when we say that guy is black, we mean that he is of African descent. But honestly, sometimes they aren't, or he isn't. Uh, what if he's from Trinidad, or, or if he's from Haiti? And, God, I don't know what that guy was doing. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, if he's from Haiti, for example, like, uh, like I think Samuel D'Alembert is from Haiti, 
um, Port Au Prince. And you might say, okay, well, Samuel D'Alembert is black, but uh, assuming he's from Haiti, uh, you'd be wrong because he's actually just Haitian, which is not African. Um, so when you go with this term that you think is going to be better by being more specific, you're actually just stereotyping, and obviously that's offensive. So in effect, what you've done is exactly what you were trying to prevent. Whereas if you just called them black, or something general like black, then you would have been more correct with more general term. So am I saying that because of one example, we should get rid of all PC terms? No, of course not. But specifically, I'm saying that we should either come up with another term in this case that doesn't make racial assumptions or settle on the one we already have, black, unless that term for whatever reason offends a lot of people. And in my experience, most people don't get that offended when you say black in just, you know, informal conversation. Oh, just got a text. Sorry, guys. Um, so what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so, okay, maybe some people in a really high position or someone who's just really uppity just has to say, like, oh, you know, you always have to call them African Americans, otherwise it's offensive. But really, I hate that because that's not necessarily true. You're just assuming and just being an ass. So, at this point, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, should we come up with a new term? Should we stick with the one we have? Black, that is. Or am I just completely wrong? Am I a big asshole racist? Am I worse than everyone in the world? Let me know. Um, subscribe, like, and bye. Mission accomplished. Nice job.